While I'm sure that Disney isn't actually trying to lampshade itself, this new slew of live-action remakes gets across that feeling to me. One of the things I love about animated shows is their fearlessness. They embrace their goofiness, they choose to be extra, and they dare to be stupid in a way most live-action things just can't. And I love it because it's so wonderfully animated. And sure, it's not photorealistic, but it can be fun, amazing, and beautiful, sometimes all at the same time. Making these into live action, it, it's like trying to make Starry Starry Night astronomically correct. You can do it, but I don't see the point. Some things don't belong in live action, just like some things don't belong in movies. But either Disney doesn't know that or they don't care because they care more about other things. So even though The Lion King is about literal lions, they decided they needed to make this live action. And by live action I mean CGI because these are literal lions. So now to review it. Well, it's not horrible. I mean, I've seen worse live-action adaptations. It's just not worth the time and effort involved to go see it. And I mean see it, let alone make it. The visuals on the whole are okay. The music's okay. The voice acting's okay. But the original was better in pretty much every single way I could think of. The CGI was great CGI, but definitely CGI. I will admit, for instance, that I liked how Simba and Timon looked. It was, by and large, really well done. There were some scenes, though, that just looked a little teensy bit wrong, and there was something about the tails and every single time they opened their mouths that kind of annoyed me. But it wasn't that that primarily disappointed me, nor even how Scar looks like he needs a humane society more than a throne. The thing that really pounced out at me was the lack of expression on their faces. Now I completely understand if they had human expressions, it would have looked horrifying. But that's the point. In animation, you can do that. Heck, you can do things ten times weirder and it won't look out of place. This show had to lean on its voice actors and settings to carry the emotional weight, and they did not strike gold. The voice actors weren't bad. I really don't have much to say about them. It's kind of weird that members of the same family have different accents, but, you know, if I was going to be complaining about that, I would be complaining about practically every movie ever made. On the whole, the voice actors are meh, and the settings are equally meh. They are clearly trying to carbon copy the original, but some things just don't carry over very well. The worst part of the film, though, had to be the musical numbers. Now, I'm not super attached to the originals because I never watched this show as a kid, but even so, I remember sitting in the theater thinking, these scenes are soulless. Now, a large part of this, though, was just the setting. I mean, I just can't wait to be king, be prepared, the circle of life. These scenes just don't work in live action animation. <laughs> Compared to the originals, they are boring, lackluster, and incomplete. Furthermore, not only could I not feel the love, but it didn't even take place partially at night. I mean, seriously, the song is, can you feel the love tonight? Can you at least put part of it towards Twilight? This was my favorite song in the original, but suddenly, when I was watching this version, I wanted them to go platonic. Now, this isn't technically lampshading since they don't mean to mock themselves, but they aren't willing to go all the way to make their story concepts work. Or more precisely, they are willing to step back from story concepts which worked perfectly in a different medium. I guess they want to make it more... serious? Realistic? But you are writing a story about Hamlet with a bunch of lions, so... <laughs> so you're not exactly going to be capturing the magic by divorcing it from the thing that made it look magical in the first place. Worst of all, though, this film isn't even bad. There's nothing offensive, or disgusting, or even cringy that I noticed in theaters. 
it's not horrible. No, this film is perfectly sterilely safe, like a corpse in a mortuary. For it to be horrible, it would have needed at least a spark of something that was its own, but everything in it was taken from the previous movie. Also, completely unimportant gripe, the realistic version just highlights the weird things we try to forget about the original, like the fact that the other animals really should run away from Simba at the watering hole, or adult Simba would not be able to survive on merely grubs because he is like 400 pounds, or who is Nala's dad? In summary, just don't bother with this movie, go rewatch the old one and hope that this trend doesn't catch on. In the meanwhile, have a great day everyone, and as always, keep an eye out for me.